news courtesy of a Twitter account called Clayton Chambers, who featured none other than my favorite Instagram platform in the world, one of the most um, original and thought-provoking Instagram platforms in the world of streetwear, hidden.ny, right? The best Instagram platform out there. If you really want to get your info on what's hot out there, if you really want to get a taste on what's cool, if you really want to get an insight into what to wear, what to listen to, what references to pull from, you check out hidden.ny on Instagram because that is the real place where the real OGs go to, a place where some guy just goes and regurgitates images that are already available on the internet and reshares them again like the original and then tries to act like he knows anything where he doesn't know anything about zero and then to make it worse exploits his flipping customers and user base for designs and whatever and competitions and all this sort of nonsense and comes out with the most redundant boring milk toast mayonnaise type designs you've ever seen which is why i think in general it's one of the most offensive platforms on there if you wasn't noticing before i was being sarcastic about calling it great it's absolutely trash it's one of the most offensive platforms i, I exist because this is a good example of it this tweet from clayton chambers says as follows hidden ny the most hype worthy account on instagram maybe is um what would you say little jupiter is he next or is he before little jupiter is pretty followed in it um but anyway it continues the most hype-worthy account on Instagram just launched a pop-up shop in Soho. He collabed with Shopify and the Blue Bottle Roast on the space. Good moves from Shopify lately, especially after they powered Nigo's pop-up space recently too. So I guess somebody who's involved in a culture is involved in Shopify and is now spearheading this introduction into the streetwear, menswear, fashion you know cultural stuff whatever space that they're trying to occupy in similar to the stuff that i did when i was at mastered when i was a person who's responsible for getting all of those mentors co-mentors who helped to run the online streetwear program that was headed by none other than virgil abloh r.i.p the go i was responsible for getting all those people involved there from the samuel rosses to the um fraser cooks to the whatever you named them i was in i was involved in naming every single person that was on that list and all it takes is one person that's it it just takes one person to be in the organization to suddenly get different people in there and to kind of change how people view the course how people view the company view the service and this is what that person is doing behind the scenes it's just a well, in shopify it's just a shame that they chose flipping hidden and why a place that features some of the best the best the best streetwear you know material you know or flipping um media that exists out there but then is unsourceless because oh it's lacking in source right unsourceless is um flipping what you call it it's hot sauce mixed with water diluted to shit because you would never imagine a place a, a profile that shares so many cool images could come up with something so dead and lacking in inspiration there's like a derelict building i guess that's been painted white with a stencil of hidden and why on the top right hand corner and then inside, there's the standard boring things that they have in there. A couple of skateboard decks hanged up on the wall. Cool. What's the context? We don't know. Guys wearing t-shirts. Cool. What's the context? We don't know. And then um, next on the fixtures, they've got TV stacked around each other. Have we never seen that before? Is that new? Of course it isn't. It's boring. It's tired. It's old. Then they've got the terrible needles collaborations there with a the jacket on some sort of on some sort of rack thing with a hidden H there. A couple of H's all over the place. Bare walls, crazy racks, random crates with what magazines and stuff that he's probably copied and ripped stuff on to put in his Instagram account. It's just devoid of any sort of real source or oomph. There's nothing really that makes it interesting in the slightest. And that's what I think is the really disappointing part about that platform all that good stuff that you feature all that interesting stuff that you feature but you can tell it doesn't come from a real place because when he's asked to do his own thing and hey present a space showcase um show us what your world is about give us an your introduction into the kind of things that inspire you and what you're into this is the best he can come up with a pop-up space should be a space where you should really go crazy because it's a legitimate temporary space where you can go a bit nuts be a bit more conceptual and really take people on a journey showcase them your world it might not be something that you 
go on to do later on in life in terms of your own store or your own space but it's a good place to really kind of set the precedent or kind of give people an idea on where you're trying to go i think immediately of like what aaron bondroff used to do back in the day with the new york thing like the rec center that sort of stuff like those things are just like experiments or something that you run in real time that then go and form other things and then when he went and set up oh wow before he got kicked out of it um that was obviously a natural progression of all the stuff that he had done from you know from a new york thing onwards and this you imagine should be a good platform to maybe showcase that and maybe also you do this really well and you can maybe get the interest of other brands that see what you're doing they maybe see you've got installation that is you know has some sort of correlation to this top shop subject to be like oh my god this is something that we could be interested in. i don't know you could just think of things that are really far out there that really kind of influence your taste and your interest that could maybe be displayed in there that could make the experience a lot more interesting or maybe just offer better products and it could make it a way more fun a space what we have at the moment is just a redundant really tired and lacking in inspiration or source or anything space that just looks whatever you might also just put it up on shopify and let people buy online what's the point of getting the space when you're just going to serve me this dross and then what was playing on the flipping speakers probably some whatever trendy rapper that everyone's sucking the dick of now at the moment maybe sg maybe 42 doug whatever it may be and then you've got that and suddenly you think you've got a brand if you can go and experience and i think it's tired i think it's dead but it's good to see that Shopify have got someone involved who clearly knows what's going on because, you know, they said that they, you know, collaborated with Nigo, who's, you know, leaps and bounds better than what he would be doing here with this sort of stuff. But yeah, it's just a shame that they didn't really go and do anything better with that one. Who is actually the person at Shopify who's actually responsible for this? Let's see what the comments say. I have a good feeling Wex is behind all these Shopify moves. Oh, I guess because, oh yeah, true. He left thing to go to Shopify, right? Um, didn't leave Adidas to go to Shopify. Is that true? Um, what the person say dang didn't think of it that no doubt i will say as somebody who stood in line for entirely too long and pop-up um fell flat to me see told you the main draws was their solomon collab which they used to get people in there but didn't only have 10 total pairs spread over five three days you make solomon so somehow these guys got solomon collab i don't know how i don't know why you know whatever, whatever and then you get solomon collab and then you don't get enough stock to fill up the space you don't make it interesting there's nothing in that space that shows you that they've got a, a shoot a footwear collab nothing um it just looks fucking devoid of anything it's pretty shit and then people leave that kind of review of course not surprised another tweet says 10 pairs yep i wasn't happy and now hidden are collaborating with solomon yeah but yeah exactly v loan for hipsters great great um thing that someone said here. that's basically what hidden is it's v loan for fucking hipsters isn't it that's what it is really v loan for fucking hipsters but yeah absolutely maddening absolutely crap absolutely shit not really in it at all so that can get 